In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Excel to estimate a regression relationship. Here we have a small data set. We're having 12 observations. Think about them as people. And for each of them, we have a weight measured in pounds and a height measured in inches. Now, we want to, let's also denote the weight by Y and the height by X. In this particular, on this particular occasion, it is fairly straightforward to decide which of the two variables should be the dependent variable and which one should be the explanatory variable. Height is very much determined by um, by birth for your genes. Um, weight, however, is certainly a function of height, but also a function of all sorts of other behavioral parameters, your diet, the amount of exercise. Uh, you do. So clearly height is the explanatory variable and weight is the dependent variable. So what we're looking at is a regression relationship here. Y is a function, a linear function of X. So the task of regression analysis now is to find the best values for A and B, call them um, B hat and A hat. Okay. And uh, you would know or need to know that um, B hat is going to be estimated by the covariance between Y and X divided by the variance of X. And A hat is going to be calculated by um, the mean of Y minus B hat times the mean of X. Okay. So if you know this formula, you can actually use the um, the, the formula in Excel to calculate this. And let's put that just into the next field here. So we can calculate the uh, covariance, that is here, okay, covariance of Y and X. So that's the uh, covariance of y and x, we'll use the sample covariance, so assuming we're having a sample, then we need the variance of x. Again, we use the formula variance var dot s, because sample variance of x, we'll have that here. Take like that, and now we need to divide the two, so covariance divided by the variance, get 3.2156, so fairly straightforward. Um, then we also need, um, the, the mean, so bar of y and bar of x. So let's calculate them here. So that is the average. And we want uh, the average of y, that's here. So that's 154.167. Then we want the average of x, that is here. Whoops. average of x, we've got that here, okay, and then we can calculate uh, the average of y minus b hat, that was in, uh, we can't see it right now, that was in e19, e19 times bar of x, here we go. Okay, so we get so that uses all of these. Unfortunately, it, it uh, hides that field. So it's that minus that times that. Okay, so here we've done our regression estimation. That was pretty quick, but it goes much quicker still if you have enabled the data analysis add-in in Excel. Uh, just a as a reminder, if in the data tab you don't see data analysis, you need to go to File, to Options, to Add-ins, and Manage Excel Add-ins Go, and you, you need to tick on the Analysis Tool Pack. Once you've done that and you go to the Data tab, you will see that Data Analysis thing. So click on that, choose Regression, Say so what's the input range? This will be empty the first time you did it. I've of course tested it before. So we say this is our y variable. What's our explanatory variable? That's this variable here. Okay. And basically we are done. And an output range, we put it into, um, let's put it here. 
okay and you press okay and here you get your uh your result and you will fortunately see that the estimated intercept is exactly the same and the estimated slope is exactly the same as the one which we calculated more or less by hand using the excel functions okay that's not a surprise that's exactly as it should be as you realize that using the uh, data analysis um, tool pack is even faster than using the excel functions so here you have the estimated coefficients intercept that's going to be a hat and that variable to the x variable or that coefficient estimate to the x variable that's going to be the slope variable the b hat and what you can also see here is observations um, you can also uh, see the r squared once we talk about that and then some uh, information regarding inference we'll get to that at another point